Hey guys, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud, and this week I want to teach you how to turbocharge your Google Tasks with an app called Taskboard. Stay tuned if you want to know more. Okay guys, so this week I want to talk about a really cool application that I've been using over the last couple of months called Taskboard. It's a really simple tool, but it has made Google Tasks a much more functional and valuable system for us. So the first thing that it does is it allows you to share task lists. It's not possible currently within Google Tasks to share a task list that you have with someone else in your organization or indeed external from your organization. Taskboard allows you to do this in near real time. It allows you to have multiple boards. I'll explain this in the demo, but you can basically have a set of tasks within a board, um, very similar to something like Trello, if you've ever used Trello or Asana, um, and it allows you to have this kind of experience within Google Tasks. You can also assign tasks to people, and this is really, really good. So within um, Google Tasks, again, you're not able to share, therefore you can't assign tasks uh, to people. Um, the next one is that you can actually highlight lists with labels and colors um, and also changing the background. So those, those couple of features for me are really, really valuable and it's, um, it's fairly, fairly cheap uh, as, far, as far as tools go. I'll cover the, the pricing at the end. So in order to install it, you just go to taskboard.app. I'm starting within Google Tasks uh, just to show people um, what that looks like for those of you maybe that, that don't use Google Tasks. Um, you can access tasks on the, the sidebar here and um, you can create a, a, a task here. So I can say, uh, do sales proposal. I've created a little demo one uh, here and I can edit this and this is just Google Tasks at the moment. I can currently assign a time and I can assign a subtask as well. So create video for this will be my little subtask uh, and I can put in some details as well. And I think that's kind of important because you can see how the two interact with each other. You can also now within Google create a task from um, from an actual uh, email and I think that's really valuable. It links it inextricably to the email, which is really good. And I want to show how that works within Taskboard as well, because I quite like that feature. So I'm gonna go into an email. I've gotten an email here from Sandra Jones asking me to do up a quote. And so I'm going to create a task from this and it's gonna pop it into whatever task list I'm currently in. In this case, I'm in the sales demo task list and it's linked it to her email. So. If I'm not in her email and I click on this, it will actually bring me back to it, which is very, very good. So currently, as I said, I'm just within Google Tasks. Um, so now I'm gonna open up Taskboard. I have it open in a new tab here um, and I've got my little dams and test board. And this will sync, because the Taskboard app is actually syncing with Google and pulling the tasks in. So it's currently gonna sync in um, this send over the quote one, which is from that email that I just created. But you can see that it actually keeps in the link to the email. So when I open it, it will open up my email and bring me back to that same, um, to that same email, which is very good that it, it contains it within that. Um, you can see here now within my task, I can create new lists. So I could create a, a list here called marketing. Um, and I could add tasks to this, uh, create campaign. And again, I've got the same type of thing. I can create subtasks within this. I can also attach files. Actually, that's something I didn't mention. So I can attach a file to this if I want. I could upload a file or um, from within my, my Google Drive. Um, so this is really good as well if you want someone to be able to quickly reference um, a file and, and find it easily, you can attach it to the task. So I can attach this file to the task and then any of my colleagues um, will be able to see that as well. I can add some details, I can add tags. So these tags, I can, I can manage my tags and, and add whatever tags I want in here. Uh, I'm gonna make this important. Um, I can also assign it to people. Now in this case, I only have myself because this particular list isn't shared with anybody. Um, but if I'll show you in one of the other ones that is shared where you can assign it to somebody. And I can set a date. I can also create obviously multiple, um, multiple 
subtasks as well, okay? So you can see how that would be very, very useful. And then if I want, on, on up on the top right hand corner, these three little dots, this allows me to rename the list, sort by due date, share the list. Now the sharing currently is um, quite basic. So you, you basically, it creates this URL and you've got to share that with people. We created a spreadsheet that had all of our task lists in it so that when new people join the team, they can just click on those and get into the shared task list really quickly. Um, so I would recommend doing that. You can set a color. So I could set a color here next to the actual task list. Um, I can move the list uh, to another board. So that's quite useful. So if I wanted to move it into a different board, I could. You can also move individual tasks to different boards. So say this particular one that was originally in an email, remember that I saved from Sandra, I could actually move this to another list. So if I wanted here, I could move this to my video content one and it would move it over here. And then eventually that will sync to my Google contacts as well, or my Google tasks, sorry, as well. So the other thing that I wanted to show you in here was duplicating a list, exporting it to a Google Sheet, deleting a list and deleting all completed tasks. When you're finished tasks, you can just tick them off and they'll move down into the completed list and they'll, they'll be in your completed list for Google tasks as well, okay? Um, the other piece that I want to show you was just renaming the board itself. You can change the background color and you can have images as well if you prefer. I know some people like this type of stuff maybe for um, their personal board so that they know that this is for them uh, and then they might have another board that's for work. Um, but you could also have a board around a particular project or a particular customer. Um, I've seen people use it like that as well. I can also assign stuff as I was saying, so I do wanna show people that. When I click on this here, I can attach a file as I've already shown and I can assign it. And in this particular demo one here, I have myself and Lydia, so I could assign Lydia. You can assign multiple people to it. So I could have myself and Lydia assigned and I can do the due date as well. Um, I can put in some details and things like that. Incidentally, the, um, the one here that has the link to the email, that's actually listed in the details when, when you go back. So when I go back here, just to, to see how it interacts um, and when this has sort of uh, synced, so you can actually force it to sync. You can see it's syncing up on the top right hand corner here, but I can force a sync as well if I want to. And when I go back and when this has actually synced up, um, it now becomes a link within the uh, sort of details and the same when I, when I assign it to people. So when I've assigned stuff to people, you can see it's within the details of it as well, okay? So the assigning only works within Taskboard and, and even things like if I want to add, um, you know, this is important, so I want to add a tag. Again, the tags are just written in in Google Tasks because that's the only way through the API that the system has to interact with it because that feature doesn't actually exist within Google Tasks. But I do like that I can see everything within my Google Tasks and I can take actions on stuff in here and I can take actions on it within Taskboard and it will stay synced. Um, have the power of Taskboard on my desktop. There isn't a mobile app currently. Um, but then I can still access these, these same tasks, the same list of tasks within here. So this sales demo one that I just created is, has now appeared on my phone. So, so I can now access this on my phone, which is, which is great. And so if I'm out on the, on the road, I can um, you know, tick something off or I can edit it within here and it will sync back to my, to my task board. One last thing that I'm gonna show you is that you can change your view. So some people quite like the vertical view. I like that kind of Kanban view. Uh, pricing, as I said, I would. You could do a monthly, uh, you can do a yearly, or they now have an enterprise license as well, which is for sort of for a domain. So um, I'd recommend that you get that if you've got a G Suite account and you want to sort of assign it to um, lots of people. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's update. I'd love to know how you guys use Google Tasks and if something like Taskboard would be valuable for you. Let us know in the comments below. Do not forget to subscribe if you have not to our YouTube channel or to our LinkedIn page, and please hit that like button. Talk to you guys next week.